Emberlyn is actually chopping her hair off today. Okay, let's see it. Ready? Yep. Three, two. What's one thing that you're looking forward to as being a 13 year old? What's up everybody? Good morning. Welcome to another vlog. You guys, today I'm getting things going. Do not mind my crazy hair. I just got out of the shower and I am spending the day today, you guys, literally wrapping a bunch of presents. So we are getting closer and closer to being done Christmas shopping, which you guys know if you've been with us for a while, that is a record for us because we usually wait like till all the birthdays are over to do our Christmas shopping. This year, Amazon and previous years also, but has been our best friend. So I've been ordering things like crazy. I'm starting the wrapping process today, making a list of just the last minute things that we need for each kid, and we're getting close, you guys, so I am excited. Let me know in the comments, are you guys close to being done? Are you guys done Christmas shopping? Have you started, have you not started? Let me know in the comments. You guys, a lot going on this week, actually today, is kind of exciting because Emberlyn is actually chopping her hair off today and she is so excited. So a friend of ours, we're gonna take her to the salon a little later today when she gets back from school and we're gonna cut her hair. It has gotten super long. Like I think her hair is even longer than mine right now. So she's ready just to chop it off her hair. Like you guys, no matter what we do or try, it always it gets so tangled. So we're gonna try to see if we can help it with some layers or I don't know, we're gonna see. We'll see how it turns out, but she's super excited about that. We've got Elijah's birthday this week, you guys. So there's a lot of prep going into that. She, he's got his birthday on Wednesday. It's his actual birthday. Friday's his birthday party. And you guys, it's just December. So it's crazy. It's busy. It's fun. There's just a lot going on. Um, but like I always say, it's a lot of good things. So it's going to be a fun week. And then we have Braden's birthday literally right after, after that. The, um, that's coming up on the 19th. So we've got Elijah the 15th. Great in the 19th and just a lot of celebrating, a lot of fun, you guys. So I'm headed out right now. I gotta go to the store and then I'm gonna come back here. I gotta do the wrapping process, which I cannot show any of that because the kids will see what they're getting for their presents. So just getting this day going, which actually you guys, I'm looking outside and look, you guys, we, I don't know if you guys could see our fruit cheese out, but fruit cheese, <laughs> we are getting so many great fruits on this tree right here. And then there's a lemon tree over here. I'll, I'll have to go out and show you guys all the stuff, but you guys, we're getting lemons, grapefruits. What else do we have out there? Like the little mandarin oranges, regular oranges. It's all growing in. Like December is the month where we can start picking all that stuff, which is actually really fun and really cool. So boom. And just like that, Amberlynn is home from school. It's actually evening time. You guys, it gets dark so early. Yeah, like an hour after I get out of school. Yeah, but we're in the car and we are headed to get your hair cut. Are you ready for this? Yes. Let's see that long hair. Look at that, guys. She is going to be chopping this off today. This short. Yep, all the way to her ears, the top of her ears. Yes. <laughs> no, but we are not going to show you guys until it's all done. We'll try to get some footage there while and she's getting it cut, tree. but maybe all the way up here, maybe down here, and maybe anywhere. Yeah. I so... might go bald. Oh. <gasps> I guess you guys will find <laughs> out. Are you... No, but are you excited? Are you nervous? I'm a little are you nervous. A little nervous. I love my long hair. You love your long hair. Yes. But so you don't want to cut? Should we just cancel? Yeah. Yeah, okay, let's cancel. Okay, yeah. We're gonna cancel, let's get out. Okay, bye. Bye. Boom, here we are. Woo! You're gonna look awesome, I'm excited for you. I'm nervous for me. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you're excited though, you know how I could tell? I'm excited, but I'm nervous you, can, you know how I could tell how excited you are? How? You literally talked the entire way here. I did? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I did? About anything and everything. <laughs> you were like, which I like. I like yes. that. Okay, let's go in. Let's Ooh. see this hair. Let's see this hair. It's a bit naughty. Ooh. You love it? Yes. You ready to show everybody? Yes. Okay, let's see it. Ready? Yep. Three, two, one. Woo! 
Okay, so cute. So you probably cut like four, four inches, inches or so, which is, like you that. didn't want to cut it too much, but mm -hmm. it's amazing what four inches does, you guys, because look how much healthier her hair looks. I know. And that's what um, she was saying. She was saying it's going to comb out and stuff a lot better because you're not going to have like those dried ends. Yes. So she didn't want to go too, too short, you guys, which I don't I blame her. I still really like my hair long. Yeah, she likes her hair long. She just wanted it cleaned and refreshed and just cutie, cutie, cutie. Aww. But I don't know what it is about every time my kids cut their hair, whether it's Emberlyn or the boys or Ashlyn, you always look older. Yeah. You always look so old. But you love it. I, I do love it. It's so pretty. <laughs> Ethan's got to see. Ethan's got to see. Oh! See, not too I, short, not too short. No. You're a little worried about the shortness, the I was length. Just worried about it. <laughs> <laughs> Looks good though, huh? Yeah. No. Yeah. Much healthier. I like it. I think it I looks like so it. pretty. <laughs> You're excited about it, huh? Yeah. So beautiful. Okay, you guys. So don't mind my hair. I still have not done it, and mine ends up being really frizzy. Evs, it looks so cute. I know it's just a subtle change, but. I love it. I love it. She did do like some shorter pieces up here in the front just to like help it lay a little bit better. But you guys, we just got a delivery. We did not show you guys. I, I do have a few video clips that maybe we'll insert here. But Danny and I went the other day to a friend's house and we did some. Um, oh, and Amberlynn was there too. You just weren't able to really make them because, because. It's, it's a little bit dangerous, I guess yeah, you could say. For kids. For kids. So we did some glass blowing. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys have ever done it. We have never done it, never seen the process, none of that. And it was actually really, really cool and very interesting. So we made Christmas ornaments. And so we are going to unwrap them right now oh, and see what they look really like. You guys, careful. Danny's out late tonight. He's got a big job that he's working on. So he'll be home a little bit later. And what I heard is you made one for me. I did. So I asked Emberlyn which color she wanted. Oh, this <gasps> one's Emberlyn's. Okay, so check this out, guys. Be very careful. Yeah, I've got to be careful. Look at that. So that's an ornament. We did purple and white and like two different tones of purple. And it's literal glass, you guys. We made this from, well, you'll see in the clips. Like it was literally hot glass. Just hot glass. Very, very It is such a cool process. I wish we could show you guys the whole entire process because I was like amazed at how they make things like this. So this we got this one and then Danny did like a green bay one, which that turned out cute too. And Look at that. So we did the, he did the green and the yellow and then they even made like the little hook at the top, which we think is pretty cool so too. So you can so. hang it or they said you could put it on the stand. Oh yeah, let's put it on the stand. I want mine on the stand. Okay, so we got a stand here. You guys, it was really fun and it was amazing. Like, look at that. <laughs> that is so it's, cute. I'm definitely putting that in my room if I can't. Yeah, that's fine with me. Um, but I mean, it's he they look like they're like really lightweight. Like it's this? actually got a good weight to it. Yeah. Like, don't drop it. Uh -oh. But um, the process was really cool, and it just really makes you like appreciate all the hard work that goes into like these kinds of things and like like literal glasses that people hand make and stuff like that. It's it's pretty awesome and takes a whole lot of talent. So. Anyways, those are our ornaments right there, which is, they turned out so cute. I love this one and that one. I love all of them. Yeah, they turned out really nice. So anyways, those are what we did the other day, you guys. Over here, we got, we're getting dinner going. Brayden made me, oh, we're trying to get some water boiled. I'm going to make some rice. But Ooh, this nice. afternoon, Brayden made me a chicken rice bowl. And it was so good that I was like, you know what? I'm going to make that for dinner tonight because he's not going to be home for dinner. He just went out with a friend and we're going to take advantage of these rice bowls because they were delicious. So got the chicken out, boiling some water, going to get this chicken all seasoned up and delicious and get it going. This is the chicken. Holy moly, that looks so good. I just took a little taste of it and it tastes yummy. So I basically just did like the chicken with this chicken booyah is what we call it. Then we did, I did some chili lime seasoning, a little bit of garlic powder, a little bit of lemon pepper, and some lime. So, and then I've got some beans here. You guys, we only have the baked beans. So we'll see how that tastes with the rice, but we're out of black beans, so bummer. But avocado over here, all nice cut up. We're gonna cut up some cucumbers. 
with all the things, yummy, yummy. Boom, and just like that, you guys, dinner is done. That was so good. That chicken was so flavorful. So if you guys wanna try that out, I gave you all the ingredients. I just kind of did everything to taste, so there's not any real measurements or anything like that, but try all those seasonings together, see how you like it. Elijah's here. We got the almost birthday boy. Woo! Woo, woo, you ready for this? I'm so excited. Dude, you are gonna be the big 13. Teenager. You know what that means, right? A teenager. I'm scared. Another teenager in the house. Oh! Yeah, you will be. That's kind of weird. 13, dude. 13. Big one, three. You ready for it? Yeah. You excited um, for your birthday? Ready. I'm actually super excited for my, be my birthday. So your actual birthday, we go out to dinner as a family. Going to Fox's Barbecue. Fox's Barbecue. Oh, excited for that. So good. And then your birthday party is on Friday with all of your friends. Yes. So that's going to be super fun. I'm super excited for that. Yeah. How do you feel, dude? Turning 13. It's crazy. I mean, I'm going to become a teenager. I'm going to start, I don't know. I'm just pretty cool. It'll probably be pretty similar to how you feel right now. I'm going to start streaming on Twitch. Oh, yeah. 13, yeah. you can do that, huh? Yep. Yeah. If you're a teenager, then you can do that. So I'm, if, on my birthday, I'm going to do a birthday stream. So usually for their birthdays, you guys, we give them the choice if they want to get out of school early or if they just want to skip school and hang out with us for the day. Unfortunately, it's exams this week, huh? Yeah, I have to take a Spanish exam, which is kind of... It's funny because only algebra and Spanish students have to take exams and I'm in Spanish, so. So he has to take exams, but yeah. I am gonna be taking him out early so that we can go either to lunch, maybe do a little shopping, yes. stuff like that, just to spend a little one-on-one -on -one time with him for his birthday. Oh yeah. We always do that, but if there are tests or, or things like that or big assignments or projects that they have, we try not to take them out, but honestly, you guys, these guys get such good grades. It's it's not gonna matter if they I'm mess one day, right so. Yeah, that's my boy. I, that. I like that. 13, dude. Oh my gosh, you're growing up. You're growing up. What's up, fam bammers? You guys, it's about 8.30 and I am just jumping on this vlog. I had a long day of work, got home at just about, I'm gonna say about 7, 7.15. So, tired, just got showered up and uh, just kind of hanging out with these guys a little bit before they head to bed. So, Elijah's mom was talking to you earlier about your birthday party yes. coming up. What's one thing that you're looking forward to as being a 13 year old? Hmm. First of all, there's more prior prior like one thing is I've been really wanting to stream on Twitch. Oh. So, and you have to be 13 to do that. Let me turn. I'm doing it on my birthday. Make a new account and everything. Oh, so Elijah's gonna be streaming on Twitch a lot more. So make mm -hmm. sure as soon as he sets up that account. We'll let you guys know, yes. and then you can watch Elijah just oh, yeah. play video games. And I will never be a kid again. I will always be a teenager now. Oh, dang. Oh, yeah. One thing, I don't, one thing I didn't tell you guys is this past weekend, it's been kind of weird where we haven't really been picking up the camera as much. And this past weekend, you guys, we had a soccer tournament. Oh, yeah. And so Elijah and Emberlin were in a soccer tournament. Elijah... You guys finished in third place. Yeah. Out of four in his bracket. Out of four. Out of four, but hey, you still beat the other team. The two other teams were club teams, like, like really good. Like A team club teams. They're like an A team and a B team. They had A team club teams. Yeah, they were really good, but you learned a lot. Uh huh. You kind of that was your first time ever competing against club players. Oh yeah. So you're able to kind of get an idea as to like what you need to do. What's what are two things you feel you need to improve on hmm. to kind of step up your game and compete at that level? Speed and aggressiveness. Okay. All right. But you did have two assists? One. Uh, like, out of the whole tournament? Yeah, maybe like two five. assists, five assists, and one goal. One goal, yeah. That was Not pretty bad. good, dude. And Emberlin's team, we entered her in there, and her team came in first place in her bracket. They won the championship, so they got another medal, you guys. And... Um, since it was just a three-on-three -three tournament, we could only have six girls per roster. So I made two teams with Emberlin's team, because there's 12, and I entered one in a competitive, and one of them was in more of a, uh, a recreational uh, mixed age group, which is pretty much what we played during the season. And uh, Emberlin's team 
was the competitive team. They came in first place. They won uh, the tournament against club teams. And the other team, Group B, they came second place in their bracket, in their division. And so Storm, Storm pretty much took over, huh? Oh, yeah. For the girls. Oh. That was awesome. So that was a fun experience. They got another medal. Now we're heading into the new year. We're going to see what's going to be coming up. We're going to do indoor, outdoor, and our more tournaments. We'll keep you guys posted, you guys, because I can't go too long without without soccer. So, <laughs> and this guy, you want to do soccer, but also like maybe some other sport like wrestling or... I want to do like a wrestling or jiu-jitsu. Okay, something, something like, like that. that. Something a little combat different. combat sport. But at the same time, still working on your soccer. Yeah, 100%. And plus with those sports, it'll get my strength better for soccer. That's right. Strength and endurance. Is cool. Better. So. Comment down below. Let us know what you think Elijah will do next. Wrestling or or jujitsu? I know what I'm going to do. What? Do you guys know oh. what I'm going to do? Oh, you guys. Ethan and I are sitting here watching. What's his name? Mark Rober? Yeah. Mark Rober with the new glitter bomb 4.0. Totally catching people stealing packages and getting fart spray, glitter, everything just blowing up on them. You guys, it's awesome. You guys got to check it out on YouTube. Oh, wow. They totally get caught in 